are welcome amongst us, outsider. That's secure for a reason. Have you changed your mind, outsider? Do you want to speak with Tree Father Birch? I was hoping you'd say that. Please proceed inside. Rejoice! The Great One wishes to see you! You are welcome amongst us, outsider. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. The innocent creatures are drawn here by his gifts. They come from across the wasteland to live in this sanctuary. This part of the world is healing, my friend, and it's all thanks to him. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who... Thanks to him. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. Is it so strange to care for one's home and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it? He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend... As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outside... Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification whenever you're ready. It's simple, really. The sap will purify your mind, I assure you. Very good. Drink of the sap from the basin. Only then will he reveal himself. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart. Agents of destruction to the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. 
In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And, diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> they listen when I talk, but they don't hear. I wish I was too. Then me and Herbert could be the best of friends and live side by side. <laughs> He's the tree, you see. We're old pals, the best of buddies. And we know each other inside and out. Well, his name's really Bob. I think it's funny. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots right in there, you know? Well, eventually, It was... Uh, I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or we I had you brought in here to ask a very... Oh no, no, no. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now, rooted. The only friends I've got are Bob and... How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's... It's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with ones inside. Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want... Oh, no, no, don't worry about them. When you... They usually don't understand a word I... Now, how, thanks to Bob, I'm up.
You will? Just... just give me a little time. No, no, Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert, cause I, but I'm still in here too. Look, Herbert, he's... Oh, no, no, the heart. Yeah, I'll leave it to good old Bob to get me st I think the best way for you to get down there would be to get the key from the one... There's supposed to be some old... Sometimes I feel stuff tickling me. I've been literally rooted to this spot, thanks to Bob for me. In the meantime, I... I've tried to stay happy. Really, I have. Bloomseer Poplar, think... Can you imagine that? Stuck here for centuries? I can't do... When I saw you coming to... Maybe I'm just losing my mind from all... I think it's making Bob kind of... It's kind of embarrassing, really. Once a year, well, all it takes is a good wind and the seeds... I call them her... Don't worry, Herbert. He'll be back. And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland, not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Agreed. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, after all, he chose you. Oh, he's testing you now. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god? Don't worry. Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the... We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It... You misinterpret his words, my friend. He wants you to extinguish that which seeks to make him vulnerable. If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, 
It should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing. I love Birch, but sometimes the spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I... I heard what my husband wanted you to do. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. This place is wonderful, isn't it? Branch Tender Cypress at your sir. I wish they wouldn't argue so much. It makes... Sure. a man a long time ago named Harold. It kept getting bigger until I ended up stuck inside. When people would ask about it, I decided to name it Bob. Sometimes I call him Herbert instead of Bob because I get <laughs> no, don't get me started on them. <coughs> they won't listen to me at all if I tell them something simple. Plus, <coughs> he just pops in whenever he wants. Sometimes I just sit there silently just to make him mad. How they sometimes they just go nuts and start running around. I'll tell you. I'll... Actually, the kid is the nicest one of all. Bob really likes her.
there's no... So you're the outsider. They're the best. My parents told me never to go past the old gate. They're... Oh, you mean Harold? He's really nice. Sometimes... Sometimes I even curl up all cozy-like and sleep next to his root after I ha I tell him what I'm scared of, and he tells me what he's scared of. It makes me feel... Sorry, that's only for... Sorry, that... 